This would be a proof of concept showcase of a few bosses and days and reach of memories having their state machines manually controlled. At the moment, I do not yet know how to bind the camera to the boss character. I have disabled Riku's AI from this showcase. This means that whenever an action finishes, he'll stay completely frozen unless I give this SM new instructions. I can prolong both his dark aura as well as his health splitter indefinitely. I can even rapidly force him into both moves finishers. Something you might find interesting is that this Dark Hyraga can only have one instance at a time. If Riku were to fire another projectile while the original still exists, then it will be completely replaced by the newer projectile. While I could make the bosses of days fully control plus well, I don't think I'll be around to it anytime soon as I'm only trying to do the same in three different games. I also do not get no to spawn in different rooms, however if anyone else wants the knowledge of SM manipulation in this game, I'll be able to share my documentation of the method. I can also do SM manipulation and read chain of memories, meaning I can make the opponents do attacks without any cards, meaning that I could make a mostly cardless version of the game as I could write a tool which would act as an external custom AI for each enemy and boss. As for the player character, I could reserve the first card in the deck for basic attacks, having it and any other cards used for basic attacks restored whenever I use it, only allowing slates to deplete cards on hand. This would effectively make combat card values worthless for anything other than slates, and would also make slates more balanced as enemies would still be able to defend themselves while you're using some of Riku's more powerful slates.